How you doing, Scotty Bear? Back with another video. This video about how I handled my return with carparts.com. <clears throat> Man, uh, you know, I stumbled over carparts.com mostly because I was looking for a window. Uh, trying to save a few bucks because my car is just kind of old and a piece of shit. So I uh, found a back window, pretty straightforward um off google whatnot and carparts.com you yeah i mean how bad could it be right so uh i get the window it is uh poorly packed um kind of a uh, uh actually my shipping service that i use says wow got kind of lucky actually getting here so i get it to the installer and shazamo um, the part is the wrong, uh, you know, from the, you know, wrong one, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, basically I, f I find this out. I try to get a hold of them. I'm like, ah, what the hell? Can't get a hold of nobody. Call and call and call. And, uh, it was quite clear that, uh, carparts.com was not, um, looking to be all that helpful. Um, you know, actually, it's a uh, shame on Google for kind of implying car parts was a good and reputable uh, service. Actually, you know, five look like, you know, five stars, uh, really kind of misleading, uh, especially when you start to look online at carparts.com, um, <clears throat> how bad a problem they have with exactly this. One, sending me wrong parts, and uh, two, giving no support um i'm going to tell you what i did about that and uh yeah, actually i'm not exactly sure how successful i've been because of course i lose these type of um chargebacks all the time you know for whatever silly reason um what i did is <clears throat> i looked up on the internet car parts uh, their uh, address actually it was the same address that they had on the package um, this one was earmarked, you know, fulfillment, of course. Uh, my shipping guy just uh, flip-flopped it, turned it to uh, returns, and then we basically, you know, I charged back. So, <clears throat> so basically, I charged back with my credit card company, and then I said, here is the return paperwork on that. Um, the really bad part about this is you're probably, if you want to get a return, or a uh, you know a refund you're gonna have to charge back now I highly recommend charging back for a couple of reasons one one of the most important is it it cuts into carparts.com uh, bottom line they get dinged uh, two they're on somebody's radar they uh, you know their their um, uh, merchant account is getting dinged each time uh, that you do a chargeback which is costing them money and and that is important because that will be the way that forces them to fix the matter otherwise they will be without a processor and uh paying heavy fees um now um i basically left it up to the credit card company um doing my part uh shipping it back because obviously that would be a requirement to get a refund um you're i mean Bottom line is, uh, carparts.com is not going to flip the bill for the return shipping, which uh, is how you get wrangled, right, with many of these uh, shipping weird items like this. That's why it's important to, um, like I mentioned in the other video, is maybe if you're going to buy online, like, uh, you know, I buy at Best Buy, but, you know, I have a problem, like I had a problem with something, so I just take it back or whatever. Uh, it's hardly ever a problem because they... You know, with the social distancing stuff, uh, you know, they do all the online stuff. So there's lots of record. Um, you know, carparts.com is likely not a, you know, national retail. They're more like a, um, you know, a company that has uh, wanted to do some drop shipping based on the um, exact match of, you know, very powerful search car parts, right? So they are just bottom feeders, uh, you know, in the industry. Um, you know, soaking up uh, these type of transactions. Like I said, I need a kind of a back window. Wasn't readily available. It was reasonably cheap. Um, you know, of course, it's one of those items that, you know, shipping and stuff uh, got in the way. 
um, for, you know, I nearly, I may be plus or minus $10 on this deal. That's how brutal it was. And, uh, you know, I've never heard from um, uh, carparts.com. Um, called, 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 emailed, emailed, all that crazy shit. So this is the best way probably to handle it. Let your bank handle it. Um, you know, it, you know, I told my bank too, I mean, this is a scam process. There's basically what it amounts to. If you're selling stuff online, not willing to offer any type of support, um, and you know, the carparts.com has a, uh, I mean, the, the reputation is basically sending wrong parts is, is basically what it works out to. If you've looked around online and you're watching this video because you're trying to get your money back, um, if you got the wrong parts, that is typical uh, problem that they have, uh, plus all also um, returns and all of this stuff too. That's why I just charged back. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful Saturday.